So can you imagine Boeing and Airbus getting along? Well, they do at times, and they are now trying to convince you to get back on planes. King 5's Glenn Farley joining us live outside of Boeing at Payne Field tonight. So Glenn, are these two companies working together? No, they're not exactly working together, but they're coming up with some really interesting and very similar research about air flu flow on planes as part of an event that was put on by the International Air Transport Association representing airlines around the world. Remember the old days like last year when you could fly carefree without a mask? Now it's all about sanitizing the interior of airplanes. And according to the International Air Transport Association, people are about evenly divided on whether they think the air inside of a jet is safe from the virus. And their biggest concern is somebody sitting next to them coughing. Uh, we've also done um, uh, many, many uh, scenarios uh, with um, people breathing, people coughing uh, on full flights um, with masks and without masks. Dan Freeman is with Boeing and is part of the company's Confident Travel Initiative. He showed us images from the company's tests on how air flows from the top of the cabin and is sucked out at the bottom before going through hospital quality air filters capable of screening out the virus. Boeing also working with the U.S. Transportation Command, which handles travel for the military, testing dummies and sensors aboard this United 767 to check for air movement that could contain viruses. But Boeing is joined by Airbus and Brazil's Embraer, all doing their own testing, all coming up with similar results, all claiming that flying is safe, with masks still being necessary as the last guard against infection. But Bruno Fargion on what happens with the cough. And then at the end, out of these 10,000 droplets, only five at maximum will reach and will be inhaled by the, the person who is breathing. And this person can be seated next to the one who is coughing. In more than six months of flying with COVID, the world's airlines claim only 44 people have been infected from being on an airplane out of more than a billion who've taken flight. Luis Alfonso of Embraer. Put on a mask and get on an airplane. Now the air inside of an airplane, some of it is recycled through, new air is brought in, but basically all the air inside of an airplane is replaced about every two to three minutes. But the other headwind the airlines are facing, conventions are canceled, weddings are canceled. So even if you want to get on a plane, where do you go? Live at Payne Field and Everett, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.